welcome 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 to the channel eve elements llc we're gonna see what will december bring for you all signs in love okay let's take a look at the love department the love realm okay Keep in mind, these are only general readings based off the population globally. So whatever energies are out there that I'm grasping, because there's a million other readers out there, just remember that. But whatever energies that I am going to connect to or that I will willingly connect to, those are the energies that will definitely be coming out here in the cards, okay? So get, again, this is only general if you'd like to book a personal reading on that information is found in the description box below you can simply click on the facebook icon in the upper right hand corner of my channel Eve elements llc and book your reading proceed okay now for the rest of you welcome and come into my garden okay any snakes trying to come in you're gonna get your head cut off because my grass in my garden is cut severely long so i can see everything okay um, also, keep in mind, these are only general readings, okay? Um, whatever card comes out, that's the message that Spirit needs me to tell you, that you need to listen to. My readings, all my readings, all my videos, they are all timeless. So whenever you decide to pop in and watch one of my videos on my channel, that is the message your Spirit team led you to seek out okay your spirit team literally told you or gave you a hunch you maybe even had a dream about it hey go on his channel and go watch a video blah 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 whatever video it may be from hoodoo tidbits to regular astrological or zodiac readings for the collective okay but again take what resonates leave the rest the energies can be flipped interchangeable switched roles can be reversed I feel it'll be saying you, someone in your energy. I've been picking up that someone in your energy. Same as you, okay? What's going on around with love for the collective? What's going on with the collective in love? Can you show me? Can you show me? Okay. Mm. Some of you are being asked to uh, keep an open mind when it comes to love, especially if singles out there, okay? Your soulmate may differ from what your usual type and expectations are with regards to any uh, person that you plan on dating or looking for a marriage partner. It ain't going to be what you're looking for. It's going to be something completely out the blue, something completely opposite, something that you don't like is what spirit is going to directly send you. Universe likes to play games like that all the time just to see or catch a glimpse of what your reaction will be when they give you something. Okay? It's a test. You better make sure you pass it. Again, keep an open mind. The angels are watching. They're all around. And specifically, this could be for a man who seeks out a soulmate or who seeks out a mate. He's looking for someone specific. There's two women on this card and there's an angel flying above, okay? The angel is an inclination to help this man pick out what female he actually wants. But the angel here is literally letting this man know, choose wisely. Basically, he can't choose the one that he's looking for, the one that's tall one. That's going to be most likely the short one. You have to go after, even though he got his eye on this one. It's literally going to be this one that the angel wants him to pick. Okay, again, it says keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from the usual type and expectations. He's expecting this one. He's going to get this one. This is how the universe plays with you. Okay, forgiving and learning. This person needs to keep an open mind, or some of you need to keep an open mind. I forgive, but don't forget when it comes to a past lover here. Someone got chosen over somebody else. Uh -huh. 
There's a man that had two lovers, masculine only, I'm speaking to for now. There's a man that had two choices in lovers. Mm -hmm. There's one shy one and one wild one. One wild lover that'll do anything. One shy one, uh, one shy lover that's uh, she's reserved like a lady. She's not someone that's a trampy or a slut. She's looking at the slut, the tramp. Finds her more interesting. Of course, she gets along with every male she comes in contact with. She may even look even prettier. But there's something about this lady here. She copied the same style as the quiet one here. Look closely. See how they got the same? It's like she tried to mirror her. This is the quiet one. This is the loud one. Check out who he got his eye on. That one. But the angel's looking at him because really, that's the soulmate. This is a karmic. Okay. He's looking at a karmic individual. Don't, of course, people, not everybody knows about soulmates and karmic. Let's be real. Okay. Um, those that are in tune, which are awakened, uh, the OAs. Only OAs are really awakened, are truly awakened. Because they can also interdimensionally travel. I'm not going to get on that right now. Okay. Only the truly awakened are the OAs. OAs are original angels. Okay. Get into that at a later time. This man is sleepwalking. Everybody's an angel. Let's get that right. Whether they good or whether they bad, everybody's an angel. But not every angel is awakened. Okay. Now, this man has two choices here. Two. Again, we're going to come back at it. Notice how she mirrors how she looks. Look how they look like. No, don't look at the clothes. Look at the same hair, same makeup, making the same smile, making the same face. The karmic is copying the soulmate here in order to grasp the attention of the man. But the karmic is the one that would wear the scarlet letter on their chest. This is an adulterer here, someone who sleeps with married people, someone who interrupts people's relationships if that person's with someone else. Now, here, in this depiction, this man is single, of course. He sees two lovers, one karmic, one soulmate. And yet he's literally going to choose to his own expectations and desires, the karmic. Someone that can please him, suck on him, someone that he can control. Someone that'll do whatever you like, right? The soulmate's not going to do that. Soulmate's going to go up against the grain every time. A soulmate's going to always correct you when you're wrong. But, oh, he don't like this. He wants to go on superficialness, superficiality. But it's funny because who he's going for, he shouldn't be with. He should be with the one that he's not going for. And yet, the karmic is the one that literally mimics the looks of the soulmate. So he really should be going for this one. Either way, someone chose someone out here who was a karmic. All right. Forgiving and learning is usually when you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your, your present moments when it comes to love. So someone's not healed here. Someone's still hurt over a choice that somebody has made here. Um, the experience is very devastating to somebody here. And because someone's holding on to all of that hurt energy there and not forgiving the fact that it is a lesson in all of this and forgiving that person, okay, and learning to forgive and move on, the wound is still open. The heart chakra is still closed. Okay, what's going on in love for the collective? Let me get one more card here. One more. For the collective for December. Thank you. Yeah. Lots of codependency here. Okay. Addictions are affecting your romantic life here. Yeah. So someone chose someone that has the same addiction system. Someone chose someone who has the same codependency aspects as them. Someone's very codependent here. 
just like their counterpart, the karmic. Very codependent here. Someone could be an energy vampire. Someone here is reliant upon another's um, energy, time, resources. Because this man has chose this karmic, there's a, a lot of addictions between the both of them. This masculine energy and this karmic energy here, this karmic feminine energy. There's a lot of addictions that they're dealing with that interferes with their romantic life here. Let's take a look at it here. All right, so it looks like the soulmate dodged the bullet, but not so much, if that makes any sense. What's going on here with the collective in love here? So someone got chosen over somebody else and someone's hurt over it. I wouldn't be hurt so much, child. Trust me. You bend, but you don't break. Someone chose a snake over someone innocent, someone pure. And someone's hurt because they weren't chosen here. Someone's really hurt that this person either was in a relationship with them and dumped them for somebody else or literally that this person... This, this uh, man that singular or single person, um, you know, you have your choices in dating. You have your options, right? You have many options to choose from when you're dating. And someone knew that someone was out there dating other people besides them. And they uh, also know that and are aware of that this man chose uh, someone other than them. They thought they were going to be chosen. Instead, he chose the pick me I can do anything you want type of energy. You know what I'm saying? So someone's hurt over it. For most of you, this is you being in a relationship with someone who's never satisfied. They um are very polygamous. They like to have more than one lover here. Or they like a specific type. They like a specific type and they go after the specific type. This is what's going on here, too, as well. You know what I'm saying? They like a specific type. They go after this uh, specific type, pretty much. Let's see what's going on here. What are you looking at? Sunglasses. Someone's stalking here. We got stalking sunglasses. Watching, lurking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Yeah, so who's stalking? We're going to find out. Could it be possible that this man here who chose one lover over another lover is stalking the person that he didn't choose? Let's see. Yeah. Butterfly. The relationship didn't go anywhere. So literally, the karmic that got chosen by the masculine energy, that relationship didn't go anywhere. So now this masculine is stalking the, uh, I, I wanted to say angel, the uh, soulmate. Let me get one more. Mm -hmm. We have the chaser and we have girl talk. Literally, look, codependent energy, the chaser. Someone's stalking. Whoever's stalking. The relationship didn't go far with this individual here. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear, abandonment issues. Someone got left behind. Someone got abandoned. And now they're lurking in the shadows, stalking someone here. All right. Time with friends, moving on. Happily single, living in the moment, having fun, girl talk. Someone's stalking a female here. This is a masculine energy that's stalking a female. So perhaps... The relationship with the karmic individual and this masculine energy who overlooks somebody, that relationship, the karmic feminine didn't work out. Obviously, someone got dumped here. And now this masculine energy is lurking and stalking and looking at a female energy that he didn't choose. Because remember what it said. Um, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. He didn't choose the soulmate. He chose the karmic soulmate. Someone that'll run your racket, run up your run up your bills, run your pockets, and make you broke. And steal all your drug money or your drugs. 
This is who he chose. Someone very codependent. Right? And I see that the soulmate here, as well as the masculine energy, more or less, could be the masculine energy that needs to learn to. Um, I think it's the soulmate, though. The masculine could be mad at the karmic and don't forgive this person. The soulmate that didn't get chosen or got dumped in a relationship with the masculine energy because he dumped her for somebody else. The soulmate needs to forgive this masculine here. Okay? So there's a lot of codependency here. and The soulmate needs to forgive the masculine. The masculine is dealing with addictions. Those addictions led this masculine to that karmic energy here and left him closed-minded and closed to the soulmate's energy. He's going to be open more to the karmic because he's dealing with addictions. Whatever those addictions are, is the same addictions that the karmic individual have. Now he's left lurking in the shadows, stalking the soulmate. We have talking here. Someone wants to communicate with someone here. Interested, conversing, more awaited messages arrives. Text, call, email, hovering. Someone's waiting on someone to either call them or someone's trying to wait for the right time to call and reach out. To somebody, we have mirror at the bottom of the deck here. Okay, mirroring each other, self image, relationship, reflect our wounds, introspection. Someone's really thinking about what they did and the mess that they made here. Um, same for the other parties involved as well here, but definitely the soulmate and this masculine energy are mirroring each other here. Someone was too concerned with self image here. relationships reflect our wounds yeah so the masculine energy was definitely trauma bonding with that karmic female here someone's stability got cut straight off they're no longer dating whoever it is twin flame is because this twin flame has stabbed them in the back here they, and this person makes bad decisions when it comes to love here um Mm -mm -mm. Get some more cards on this real quick. What else do we need to know for the collective in love for December here? So basically in December, December is going to be all about forgiveness. Not only for others, but for yourself as well. Whoever has done you wrong, forgive them. You don't need closure by, I need to seek out this person so I can say sorry. Nah, put it in the paper, burn it, scatter the ash to the four winds. Or flush them down the toilet here. Yeah, because someone chose a Queen of Wands reverse here to sleep with. This could also be the person that's stalking as well. Wow. Someone's mad. Someone's pissed off. Someone's broken hearted that someone walked away. Literally, the um, masculine energy could have also walked away from the... There's a lot of walking away here. It's like an entanglement. Someone chose someone that's not a soulmate over the soulmate. The person that they chose left them for someone else too. So it's a, it's like we have the Queen of Wands, Three of Hearts, or Three of Swords, three people involved, but somebody walked away out of a situation and left everything behind. So somebody's mad and pissed off that they got uh, separated, that there was a separation. Someone's mad over a separation here. One more. Close this out real quick. So basically, there's a lot of ang angerness here over someone walking out and breaking someone's heart here. This could literally be the soulmate feeling mad and pissed off and not wanting to forgive the masculine energy for walking out on them um, because they was planning for their future. So someone walked away from someone um, they may feel was too aggressive or too angry, a fighter, basically. Um, they may have walked from uh, away from someone who uh, always sleeps around. They never close their legs. They always got their legs open 24-7, like 7-Eleven. Whatever the case, someone walked away from someone to plan for their future here. They were more or less likely in their head about a four source reversed here. Okay. But definitely there's the energy of watchfulness. Someone's watching someone else. Okay? And I wouldn't be surprised if it's the karmic also watching the guy, the single man who's now single, 
walk away from them, literally, because someone literally walked away from, I'm saying street whore, because that's how they're presenting it to me. Six of Swords to move on to something better here. Six of Swords. Mm -hmm. They want something better. They're moving on to something better. They're moving across a body of water here. They have like six spirit guides leading them. This person is now, wasn't a reverse, now in the upright, is now taking control over their life. This is a Leo. Um, or it could have, this person could have a Leo spirit guide here. No longer are they in disappointments. They see in the light at the end of the tunnel. And they're moving forward out of this energy. And they're moving fast like a, a locomotive train here. They're moving real fast. They're no longer blinded by this karmic energy. This karmic energy is pissed off that someone walked away from them. They And whoever walked away, three of wands, they planned it. They, and they had about it and they planned it. They planned down that they little uh, so-called great escape. <laughs> yeah. They took power and control back because this karmic may have had this person mentally entrapped in their head uh, with a lot of reckless behaviors and shit like that. This person's going towards their baby mama they wife or someone that they once were married to. This is Taurus Libra energy, but this is not a Taurus or a Libra. This is simply a, a ex-spouse, a baby mama, right? Someone whom they left out in the cold, ghosted, walked away from. They in their head about that. They was in their head about it. So, yeah, someone's feeling real guilty. Someone may come and ask for your forgiveness, all right? Because they were blinded. They were being blinded by a Libra. And I'm here looking at this blind justice. This blind justice coming in for someone, for uh, um, a baby mama or ex-wife that got left out in the cold. This person now uh, seeing clearly, no longer in mental entrapment here. Seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. So this person may come forward to try to fix things, to try to rebuild Seven of Pentacles here. Slowly, we have money here. This person's trying to rebuild their money because their money was blocked from that karmic individual here. This person could have been taking money from them at every given turn. See, financial constraints, Ace of Pentacles reversed. No longer were they abundant with that karmic individual. One more in the mouth. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I appreciate your time and energy. Yeah, this person's moving past those blockages here. Someone literally is trying to keep them blocked, the devil. Capricorn energy reverse. They're releasing this devil in their life that was messing with their money, messing with their finances. They, this devil also made them choose them over a soulmate. Had them all in regrets. They regret even being tied into whoever this person is. This Aquarius was an unhealed individual. Literally someone who's an Aquarius, Queen of Swords, is an unhealed individual. They, look, they cut you with their words. They argue all the time. Look at this. Opportunities or offers and shit. This person regrets either uh, receiving an offer from Aquarius or or, t or um giving an offer to an Aquarius. They regret that shit. They regret that. So now we have someone in regret being with a karmic here. Someone stalking someone else. Acting like the wounded warrior, but remember, it takes two. You can't put the blame on just one person here. When it comes to you walking away from a soulmate, you have to own that energy. If you walked away from someone that was literally for you, and it was your freaking soulmate, that was your choice. Interference can't be by anybody else other than you. Choice, free will, right? Okay. So... For December, like I said, there needs to be forgiveness. Because forgiving and learning is reverse along with codependency. Could it be someone's refusing to forgive someone due to their bad drug addictions, sexual addictions, pornography addictions, alcohol addictions? I mean, what addictions are we talking about here? There's a lot of codependency energy. And someone doesn't want to forgive. But someone here, the person that doesn't want to forgive... You need to be mindful. You need to keep an open mind when it comes to forgiving others for they know not what they do. With that being said, peace.